enjoy riding the bus to work. It's less gas and it's just um, an overall better for the environment. And also it's a great affordable option for me. I'm saving on gas. The Metro helped us make a positive improvement in, in getting rid of the single passenger cars uh, and maximizing our parking capacity at IDEX. That goes for um, a cost savings as well. You meet some nice people on the bus. There's been a form of public transportation in this area since the late 1860s. It exists so people can travel throughout the area and it connects to other regional transit options including South Portland Bus, Zoom Shuttle Bus, Amtrak Down Easter, Portland and Jetport. I take the metro to work um, so I don't have to worry about parking in town. Um, it's a quick ride. It's a matter of rethinking how you do. Everybody just jumps in their vehicle and takes off to wherever, but if you just consider your hours, the buses run pretty regular, so there's going to be a bus come by your area whenever you probably need them. The top of the bus will always have the route number that you want to get on. And if you're uncertain um, if that's the bus you want, definitely ask the driver. The driver's there to help you. The Pulse is the Metro's hub downtown. It's on Elm Street right off Congress across from the Portland Public Library. And all the buses in the Metro system stop either at the Pulse or within a block of that area. And it's a great resource if you're new to taking the bus or you want to learn more. They have someone there who can offer you schedules, answer your questions. You can buy your monthly bus passes there or your 10-ride bus passes. And it also offers an indoor waiting area um, for inclement weather. You can wait for the bus there. On our Metro map um, and on the Regional Transit Guide, the front of the schedule has a map of the area and all of our routes are color-coded. On the back of the schedule um, are the, the, the actual schedules, the timetable for each of the routes. All Metro buses are, are wheelchair accessible. All Metro buses are also have two bike racks on every single bus. Some companies um, offer their employees an incentive to take the bus. Um, for example, IDEX, um, they will reimburse employees who take the bus. Um, we actually subsidize the program, so we'll actually pay for employees who, bring their who purchase monthly passes. So I know there are a few cases of employees who are actually able to take employment at IDEX because of this program. I've been taking the bus for a long time. It saves money on cars. My wife and I only have one car instead of two. It's thousands of dollars that you'll spend for an extra car. And it's not just the car payment, but it's the car insurance. It's the, uh, the gas, it's all the, the things you put in your car, uh, all those things cost money. And so uh, I take the Metro, it's a really economical way to, to get to work and back. So I work for Goodwill and we participate in the Bus and Buy program. How it works is if you show uh, your receipt to the bus driver um, from certain stores and ask the store for a Bus and Buy pass, you can ride the bus home for free. I mean the obvious, saving money. And since I'm a senior, you know, I get the best deal. The senior pass, I mean, I pay, what, six seventy-five for a 10-ride trip? I mean, how cheap is that? In the wintertime, I don't have to worry about bad weather. The bus driver takes me through any kind of weather safely. The Metro is a great resource to use, especially in the winter. Um, no matter what weather, snow, blizzards, the bus is out there getting people to where they need to go. In Maine, winters are nasty, and you just let the driver drive it. You know, they're fine, and uh, you don't have to worry about you know, climbing over snow drifts, running around, uh, feeding the meter. Or for seniors who don't want to drive anymore, or don't feel safe driving anymore. For people who do have cars um, and want to um, travel um, in a more environmentally friendly manner. And some companies um, have a sustainability mission. 
and we certainly factor into a sustainability mission. Um, if they want to encourage their employees to recycle and you know care about the environment, certainly um, providing incentives to take the bus is, is and can be part of that. It's about taking care of the environment, it's taking care of the community and the, and the people including those who work at IDEX, um, so it really is a win-win across the board. I get on my bus and I read my, uh, my news stories on my iPhone um, and uh, occasionally I might have a conversation or read a newspaper or, or just listen to music. It's a very relaxing time. And you get to know the bus drivers and the people taking the bus and um, it's great. I can sit for a few minutes and listen to some music and it's a nice transition into the workday. You meet a lot of bus friends. <laughs> you do. You meet. It's a social. There's a whole bus community there. And when I walk to the end of the street, chances are I'm going to meet a neighbor. And chances are I'm going to connect about something that I wouldn't have connected about if I had gotten in and turned on my car and just driven away. Um, also meeting my community members as I'm on the bus and I walk to work. And so I get to know the city a lot more when I take the bus. We do have excellent customer service. Working with the Metro has been great. I've been taking the bus for a long time. It's a great way to get around the city. I think more people, if they would just think it through, they would take the bus. <laughs>